The third way we think CBDC can improve financial inclusion is through what we call programmability. That is, CBDC can allow government agencies and private sector players to program, to create smart contracts, to allow targeted policy functions. For example, welfare payment, for example, consumption coupon, for example, food stamp. By programming CBDC, those money can be precisely targeted for what kind of people can own and what kind of use this money can be utilized, for example, for food. So this potential programmability can help government agencies to precisely target their support to those people who need support. So that way can also improve financial inclusion. Of course, I want to end with a caveat because CBDC is not a panacea. CBDC cannot solve every challenge in financial inclusion. There are some aspects of financial inclusion is not related to technology. For example, financial literacy, digital literacy. So CBDC has to work with other policies together to try to improve financial inclusion. I stop here.